TV sound system, you know what it is, select a hype up inside the building, you know what to do, man. Hit that like button, subscribe, like, share, and comment as we continue this journey, what we call sound system culture, representing in fine style. Also remember the sound system clothing, uniting fashion and music, 2020, we're 10 years deep in the thing. New merchandise is coming out very soon. More info coming your way. Right now, introduction time. How are we going to introduce this guy? A lot of swag. It's been around for a long time doing his thing, representing, as you can see, very professional, coming with the big the big banner, billboard thing, yeah. <laughs> making sure everything is on point. Straight. One of the big sounds and representing from Outer Luton. If you don't know about him, it's going to get very familiar with some of the stuff that he has done and some of the places where his sound has played. Introduce it to TV Sound System. Flavor, how you doing? Yeah, man, big respect. Um, selector hype. Yeah, man, um, I'm good. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, as you know, it's Luton Sound. One of Luton top sound system, basically. Mm -hmm. um, what it is, I'm a sound system, not just a DJ. Mm -hmm. All right? So this is thing is being built Okay. Um, from the, from the grassroots mm -hmm. levels. Where did it all start for you? Before we go into the sound, yeah. talk about Flavor. Young boy, growing up, yeah. <laughs> where did the whole vibes and inspiration come from for, for doing music? Yeah, man, um, basically, um, I'm Jamaican of um, heritage, mm -hmm. um, born and bred Jamaican, yeah, I mean, Kingston, mm -hmm. the whole island itself, you know what I mean? Um, Anova is where my family is from. Okay, cool, same on the here. Island. Yeah, same yeah, here, man. yeah. Cascade. <laughs> yeah, Cascade, yeah. yeah. Mine is Jericho, you okay. know what I mean? Jericho Claremont. So yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's it's it's, it's on there. It's, it's very close, <laughs> very close. I'm familiarized with that yeah, place man. as well. I go to school not far away from okay, that side, one side. Okay, All right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. So, um, so... The sound system culture, basically, I'm um, growing up, and I mean, all Jamaicans, you know, if you're growing up, you'll see a sound, you see a DJ, you see, if, you know, I mean, the, the whole works is there from, you know, I mean, if you have, have any love for this, for the, for the business, mm -hmm. that's the, the, the development from, from there, I think, you know, I mean, so I've caught up on that. Mm -hmm. from from a small youth growing up yeah. and obviously all them sounds have come through the lineage you know what i mean mm -hmm. i fall in love with it with the, with the business mm -hmm. and i always wanted to play music okay and then you know what i mean i've always familiarized with what's going on in the business so mm -hmm. i've actually got a taste of selecting mm -hmm. vinyl from them so I, I used to do a little bit of thing you know your song used to call um Black Jaguar. Okay. Um, another sound called Rhythm Force. I didn't play on them, but mm -hmm. obviously they were the bigger, the bigger machine yeah. from Cockburn Pen, but they're mm -hmm. basing on oversight still. Okay. But anyway, so I did get a taste of it. You know what I mean? Needle and, you know what I mean? All of the techniques mm -hmm. and, the, you know? Original thing. Original thing from <laughs> then. So I'm not even just starting off from a CD point mm -hmm. of view or the laptop thing. So I'm well, 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 mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Versed in, in what was going on. Okay, then. then. And then, uh, then, um, what year did you s decide to say, you know what, I'm going to build a sound? And, and where did the name Flavor come from? Yeah, well, Flavor came from a business, because I'm a businessman anyway, um, mm -hmm. background really, because, you know, I used to do, um, I used to own a restaurant slash, slash takeaway. Okay. So in the basis of that, when we, were, when, when we were doing our thing, obviously me and the wife put together and we, we decided, so, all right, well, we're going to just run with some food and with what we do, you know what I mean? So in the mm -hmm. UK, I'm on about now. So what it is, we're jogging our... Um, the names around obviously because in any business you have to Gotta get, get the name right yeah. you know what i mean so it can sell to Point the public it. so what it is flavor came about and we said all right we're going to say flavor caribbean mm -hmm. and then in the meantime the sound was still kind of new then coming up coming up so we started you know the liquors from 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 then mm -hmm. so i merged into flavor sound um sound system and the food system so all, all everything was at once so we just okay. launched one from mm -hmm. from then so that's where the name came about mm -hmm. and i stuck with it from then till now mm -hmm. and it's not going to shift okay <laughs> <laughs> so you tell us a little bit about the sound system equipment wise um and like i was saying before um you, you played at many many events but yeah. there's a lot of sound system events yeah. yes clashes etc where yeah. flavor sound has been the sound yeah. that people are calling to play uh, yeah. just tell us a little bit about the sound system equipment wise what you're pumping around there Etc. Yeah, basically it's a it's a it's a standard um sound system where obviously where I put together. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, I actually um put this thing um together what I wanted. So it's it's based on 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 
on what the sounds you see back in the in the day mm. it's, you know amplifiers bass boxes bins mm. and all of that nothing um none of these power system i do have power system but obviously for the smaller things so i do all okay. different venues mm -hmm. so what it is is a standard yard sound which i built you yeah. know what i mean 18s and you mm -hmm. know the tops and everything amplifiers the whole thing this is quite a big a, a, a good size yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. i mean what was the, what was the key um what was the word i was going to look for what was the main main equipment that when you was building the sound yeah you said you know what i need to get kind of like get that part right what was the key part because there's so many aspects of sound system yeah that's right you know from amps to speakers to wires to to laptop controller mm. turntable mm. so much of it yeah what way did you kind of like put your angle in first well uh, 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 um most sound system when you're building obviously everybody wants to hear this big heavy bass you mm. know what i mean and um that is mainly where everybody thinks there's a sound, the sound of a heavy. Mm -hmm. But my, I, I actually worked on the, the top side of the thing. I always like the, 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 to make sure the clarity is, is clear. Mm. I never really went for the base of such, like, you know, that bottom end yet. Mm. You know what I mean? I did have bottom end, but I never went for that. You know what I mean? Because you have some sounds out there, just bottom in, and they ain't mm -hmm. got no tops. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I worked on the top side of things, and then I, I worked my way all the way down to 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 to, to the base side mm -hmm. of things. So that was the main the main. I worked on the tops for. It. I I like to have clarity. Mm -hmm. I, you know what I mean? If it's not no clarity, it's like it doesn't sound good to mm -hmm. me. Was so, it was there any particular sound like while you was building that you was looking on and kind of thinking like you know what? Yeah, kind of would like for a song like that, you know, that kind of level I want to. Well, I mean, mean, you mean locally or internationally? Uh, look, both, both, both local and, and Well, <laughs> there's so many sounds out there, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I could call a lot of names, but you know, in the UK, you can't really build um, a machine to, uh, to, to, to play. Mm. To, it's only um, one time a year we can do that. And mm. you know, it's carnival where we can push it out that way. Okay. But you can't really play outdoors. So mainly, if I'm gonna go back to back in the day, like we are, we'll have sound um, Stone Love, mm. we have Bass Odyssey, we have Jaro. Mm. Them sounds are they they it's a completely different. Like, there's so many names, you know what I mean, mm. out there. In the UK, obviously locally, we used to have a song called Black Magic. He was building his thing, so yeah. obviously he um he never went far with it. You know what I mean? He was just developing the sound, he built up to it, but he never actually went far enough to kind of like play out on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. But I think he took it, he sent it home in a bit. Um, but locally, that was a sound, um, in, in Lute in here, which mm -hmm. I was, was kind of was like, kind of I was like looking at a vibe into mm -hmm. So I've actually built off of his kind of idea mm -hmm. and he gave me a lot of, um, you know, insight on things, okay. but everyone insight is different. Mm -hmm. Every sound man has a different way of telling you how to do things on a different level to yeah, get definitely. the best out of this or mm -hmm. get the best out of that. So then, you know, I mean... And then I build it to where it is, but very mm. consistent. Yeah. I've actually stuck to it. Uh -huh. And then um, to, to where it is right now. Yes, I've heard it. Yes, a lot of people have commented on on how good the sound sounds. As a sound man, you know that nothing's mm. nothing's ever a hundred percent perfect. Never, never. So never, what, what, never. what kind of improvements are you looking forward to to make the sound reach continue that that consistency? What is there anything special that you're looking you got your eye on to to, to make that happen? Yeah, well, you know what, there's so many um um technology at, um coming out and it's just coming. It just can't. If you have a sound, mm -hmm. any sound man can tell you. You know, what I mean, if if you have a sound you just fall in love with that stuff and it just take your your focus is always on that mm -hmm. every penny you earn you're always thinking about upgrading something on mm -hmm. the sound and sometimes it can take you away from your family as well uh -huh. i know a lot of sound man might be in, uh, can can um hear what Fully i'm saying vouch for it man vouch really for what's going on all the relationships are mashed up through sound <laughs> you know what i mean but we love it so much, you know what I mean? It's kind of, it's, a, it's one of our passions. So yeah. if you're real to the game, you will understand where I'm coming from. Mm. Yeah, you know? So if I'm going to be honest with you, you know, I want to can go with the technology part of things. Because things have moved on so much that mm. there, we, we actually lose the CD players as have we got here, you know what I mean? Yeah. Pioneers and all. I still have about four of them, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so what I do, I hire them out because people are still playing a few CDs. Mm. So we have to still accommodate for that. Yeah. What it is, we've gone to the controller now on the laptop, as you know. Mm -hmm. And it's just going, it's just escalating to uh -huh. another level. Now, in terms of equipment-wise, mm -hmm. as, as I was said to you before, we cannot play um, in these venues anymore like how we used to do. Mm -hmm. So 
I'm not actually scaling down. I'm holding on to what I've got at the minute, and then when I when I when I need to in uh, to go to certain venues, I have what I need to. But to spend extra amount of money on something at the present moment, I just don't really see the sense in that yet. Because yeah. I, I I'm I'm working with what's going on. Unless I have a contract where I know that it's gonna, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, be feasible for you. Feasible, for you yeah. yeah. But yeah. I do have a lot of stuff. I got about three columns. Okay, you know what I mean. A stuff who mm. don't understand what I mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, Jamaica now where so we say columns, you know what I mean? Base, you know what I mean? So we have a set of base, maybe about four or, or, or six in a in, in, in a in a in a column mm -hmm. and maybe about three tops, you know, or four tops in a column. So that's a lot of speakers. Mm. And I'm talking about three sets of that. Yeah. You, you, it, not any any venue you're really going at. You know that you're talking about love injection and the rest of them mm -hmm. who's got them started. There's so many yeah, in the yeah, UK. Yeah. So you know what I mean? Sounds, man. Yeah, man, definitely. Have that. You were speaking, and yes. it's kind of cool that you kind yes. of um, yes. mentioned the, the, the CD, having yeah. four CD decks. Yes. We talked earlier, on and you yeah. says you came from yes. the vinyl days, yes. needle to seven inch, etc. That's right. From vinyl, yes, we went to. CD to CD, yes. CD, correct. you went to controller to controller like that, yes. What's your favorite format on playing during that whole year? You know what? Um, before we got controller, we had a thing called um the the, the we we had the um the, the thingy box like we have the SL, so we have it there in the in the, in the, in 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 the background there. Oh, the Serato, the, SL, the Serato, yeah, yeah, the Serato yeah. SL three. I think that was the best one at the yeah. time when we were doing it because okay. we it's physically doing some work. It, true, it, true. it reminds me of the um the, the vinyl thing, but yeah. in a different format. But I, I, I did prefer that. Yeah. But after a while, you move into another phase, you end up liking the controller mm -hmm. now. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. see what I'm saying? So I still, I still own these yeah. things. <laughs> I mean, they might be obsolete at the minute, but I still yeah. own them. I, I, mean, love, I, I love the, the CDJs, man. Yeah, the CDJs. Those were just like my, my CDJs perfect, are, I, I, perfect I, I, I know the vinyl thing. Yes. It's always the original, but for yeah. me, yes. uh, the pioneers have made it so convenient. To it was. Um, a lot of people don't realize that. If you try and remember, if you're coming from... The concept when they made these, they must have known what they were doing. Because mm. coming from um, the vinyl and going into CDs, you're physically doing something. The only thing, the CDs yeah. are a bit uh, a bit lighter. Mm -hmm. But you had to go into your pouch and search yeah, for stuff. Search for, just, like so, the just like the record. Yeah, so they did you make know, it out. So you, you was doing some work. Mm -hmm. And actually, you was doing some work and moving. And if you're a good selector, you'll be going through the pouch proper. And man. inserting, know exactly what yeah, you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the thing is on a different level now. <laughs> it's a faster pace mm. and everything is accessible to you. Yeah. You can type in and get what you want straight away. Mm. You know what I mean? But the, the, the greats them who is in the business, actually, um, they're actually mastering it now. Because, mm. you know what I mean, when you go to these dances, they're actually mastering these things. Mm. Ooh, you, who's coming from them days? I'm not talking about the new DJs now because mm. they're good. Yeah, you know I mean they they're very good. The youngsters and the, mir the remixes and the whole of that they're mm. for, pretty good. But I don't think they understand where we coming from the yeah, days. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, we have a little bit more, a little bit more knowledge mm. of this thing. You know. Yeah, man. Remember, massive is TV sound system. We got flavor up inside the building. Um, the sound wise again now. Yes. You know, there's all many, so many different aspects of sound system. Yeah. Is the clash culture kind of thing something that you're gonna be looking to dip your toes into? Um, if I'm gonna be honest with the clutch toes, uh, well, it's a clutch <laughs> toes. <laughs> you see, dip my toes into that sort of right now. It's kind of like it's a it's an expensive um thing. Mm. I wouldn't advise any um um anybody out there if you're not serious about this thing, do not enter in it. Mm. It's it, it's a very addictive thing. I have a whole heap of dubs as well. Yeah, I play them, but I don't really go clashing. You know, mm. what I mean, as you know, if if I'm in if I'm in if I'm in a dance and you and you, you decide to want to do something straight, I'm I'm ready mm. to to defend it straight okay. away. But it's like put me on a fly and say let's let's clash this. It's a lot of preparations yeah. and you have to have certain genres of songs mm -hmm. to go through them rounds. Okay. And it's an expensive game. So actually, the two I am a DJ, I still have to have a couple of dubs along the way to mix in in my in mm -hmm. my set what I do. Yeah. So. If I have to clash, then I, yes, I can clash on a lower level. So I wouldn't want to say I want to go on the top level. Because mm -hmm. me and, you know I mean, me and Sovereign and um, Clash, yeah. they're a big, big beast <laughs> in the business, but I give him trouble still, yeah, you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah. And he can tell you, I'll give him a little. But obviously at the present moment, I'm not, I, I don't, I don't, I don't spend that money in the, in, in, in the, in the clash, mm -hmm. so much dubs to kind of either go up to that level. 
you know what I mean? Yeah. But at some point, if I'm, if I wanna, I still I can do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? If if the money is right, because mm -hmm. right now it has to, the money has to be right. 100%. It's pointless going to these clashes and just doing it. All the sounds in the back in the day will have their dubs. They can go and do that mm. because they're already they're already built already for that. But a young son coming through the business, I'm not putting off anyone. Mm. Make sure you, you, you do this thing real because this thing is not a game. Mm -hmm. it, it costs you a lot. And you can go to this and, you know what I mean, not really get much out of it. Mm -hmm. you, you might get, um, people might know you, but you're not get, you might not get anywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's my point of view, you know what I mean? Ooh. So at some point, you know what I mean? He may, he may, he may, may, I may. But man's ready to defend it. If you man's can. ready <laughs> to defend it anytime. You know what I mean? If you, if you know what I mean? On the random thing, yeah. I'll do it straight okay. away. You know what I mean? Well, right next to you, you yes. got the billboard. Yeah, cool. um, I'm not 100% sure if this will go out in time. Yes, well, it's this, uh, Saturday it's, the 12th of October. Tell yes. us a little bit about this event. Yeah, what it is, is um, this, this, is, this event is a yearly event, obviously. Um, it's my Earth Strong, along mm. with my, um, my, my, my good friend, obviously. Um, okay. Yeah. And we have a thing called Ultimate Promotion together. That's mm -hmm. a that's a brand mm -hmm. we build. You know what I mean? So it's on the Flavor Sound sort of thing. So Flavor Sound is the sound, mm -hmm. the DJ, and then I got the other business side of the thing, promotion side where I run with the Ultimate. So you might see the Ultimate out there on a, a few events mm -hmm. and they out there promoting stuff. So dances yeah. and all of that. So this is a yearly thing I keep, and it's called October Fair. I'm a Libran, and mm -hmm. I mean, today is my birthday. Oh, I'm man. sitting in the studio. <laughs> yeah, I'll be strong, man. Yeah, man, respect, yeah, man. For, that, respect you know for that, man. So we always do the um, the birthday celebration a week later. Mm -hmm. So this is a big event for Luton. Okay. Um, it's a lot of um, people rolling in for this. Yeah. You know what I mean? From all walks. You it's know what I mean? mad classy. It, it, it is classy. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I got people rolling in. I got a coach coming from Wolverhampton. It's uh, my ends, you know. That's your ends, yeah? Yeah, from Wolves. Yeah, yes, you're from Wolves, yeah? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man, I got country coming down. Oh, seen. So if you link country, yeah, we got country, country will tell you. Yeah, country will tell you. Yeah. Yeah. We have a whole, a whole heap of them rolling in, okay. in town. You know what I mean? That's my, a whole heap of my family is from mm -hmm. that side. Yeah, right. in can you know Hanover? Yeah, 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 know, yeah, there's yeah. a bit of Hanover up there. All over Wolves. All over Wolves, yeah? Yeah, man. Yeah, so we have a, and then we have London rolling in. You know what I mean? I mean and this event is this, you know what I mean? I, I tend to bring in the big guns. What mm. I call the big guns is the big, the, the, the selectors where the, the, the high end of, of what's happening in the UK, mm. dance hall wise. Yeah. And I always try and um, feature them to attract a different audience as mm. well. So it's not about because they're better than anyone. Yeah. And I mix them in with on my local as well. Mm -hmm. So it has to attract different different audiences. Mm -hmm. So obviously I got the, you know what I mean, over the years I've got them all. Yeah. Most of them coming through, you know what I mean, the Andrew Fresh, um, the Dupes, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, Alan Brando. Obviously yeah. I had him a couple of years ago, but he'll be coming back next year. So many of them, mm -hmm. you know, loads of them coming. Well, so it's, it's, it's a good look. Um, it is. It's a the legacy edition it part is. four so it's four years in the making it, yes this one this event itself i got so many events i keep don't know mm. just one so this okay. is four years going uh -huh. what i'm and doing what's made it what's made you make it so consistent to go uh, to make it reach the fourth year because some people mm. they try and do a yearly event and yes. they just do and for one up. year two years and then we don't see it again four years is a good stretch considering yeah. lack of venue sound system yes, wise etc yes, etc yes, et yes. what's what, what's made you make it and continue to be a success yeah well basically um i'm a person well i'm i'm, I'm well liked to a to a degree i've got manners mm -hmm. and respect for it you know what yeah. i mean and wherever i whenever i do e these events people do um, come and support them instantly. Mm -hmm. So because this is growing, the first first one I kept is uh, just a week. Mm -hmm. I done it in a week, and the club was ram yeah. packed. This doesn't happen to any 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 um, promoters or DJs out there. You have to have that certain kind of mm -hmm. cutting edge, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, for people to to to, to kind of like um, mm -hmm. like to you. So. And since then, I know that it's, it's just an instant hit mm -hmm. straight away. So year after year, I just make it bigger and bigger. Okay. So it's going to be one of Luton's biggest dance hall um, dances for the year. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm just saying that on off the cuff right now. You know what I mean? It's one off. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it is. It's <laughs> one off. But... <laughs> It's one up. <laughs> well, I can see it being a great event. Uh, it's going to be a couple of oh, big shout out. We chat to the Wolverhampton people. Then when they see this now, they're going to be Same. like, ah, oh, boom, bam. Yeah. Definitely going to be <laughs> reaching down there. I want to say, um, 
happy to strong again. Yeah, man, respect for that. Um, thank yeah. you for taking the time out. Yes. And what I want to do most yeah. definitely is catch up again with you, mm. if not before the end of the year, most definitely in 2020. That's fine. Simply Anytime. because I can clearly see that you have a very keen eye on detail, presentation, marketing, and this whole business-wise thing, and you're doing it in the sound system culture Absolutely. and the business. And I think um, a lot of sound systems out there, they're spending money on dubs, they don't have no fan, no, no fan base, that they're, they're, they're struggling to work out how to get the people them into the dance. I think it would be real cool to sit down with yeah. you and you can give us a little insight on how you make your thing work and why it can be a success with like in seven days. That's a, that's a great, great achievement. So once again, thank you for taking the time out. Is there anybody you want to big up before we're out of here? Yeah, man, um, I want to say um, thanks again for having me. And um, I want to big up um, Luton um, on a whole. Big up to all the fans and where support um, what I do. Flavor Sound System, um, Ultimate Promotions. Big up to all um, the DJs um, locally. You know what I mean? I could um, Sovereign, big up yourself. Um, everyone knows Sovereign. Scully, big up um, Rolex. The whole fan base, big up village sound. Uh, there's so many dirty decks. We have so many DJs <laughs> in loot in here and um sound as well. So big up everybody across the board. Big up the fans them. You know, I mean they come first. You know, they are the ones who make it possible. And you know, when you do good, you know, good always follow. So as you know, you made a point there on um presentation. Mm -hmm. I'm very keen on that. So yeah. that for another day still, but mm -hmm. definitely, I'm man, looking definitely. forward to come back and um, you know I mean have a one to one yeah, with you. Yeah, man, hundred percent, right. man. Yeah. So like it is massive. It's TV Sound System. Remember to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Once again, flavor. Thank you so much for taking the time out. Happy Earth Strong. Yes, family. <laughs> much respect, and we'll catch up with you real soon. Yeah, man. Respect. Bless.